Well, uh, Professor Peter Singer is a uh, uh, very famous philosopher. He's probably the most famous philosopher, certainly the most famous bioethicist mm -hmm. that I know of. And uh, I actually, well, he's so famous that there are actually encyclopedia articles written right. about him, and I wrote one of them oh. uh, a year or two, a couple of years ago, for a um, some sort of encyclopedia of environmental ethics. Okay. Um, and I do remember when he said that, and part of the uh, one thing about Peter Singer is that he kind of operates from at least two different sort of general theoretical foundational backgrounds. And one is uh, a view called utilitarianism. Mm -hmm. And that sounds like a rather utilitarian sort of comment, okay. which basically says that, well, um, if the overall uh, benefits of doing something are great enough, then it's okay to do that action, even if some individuals are harmed by it. Okay. So, um, utilitarianism um, is sometimes related to maybe the idea of the sort of what you call the end justifies the means mm -hmm. sort of idea. And um, utilitarianism is often argued against just because of that kind of idea. So, a famous classroom example um, to try to critique utilitarianism. Well, there are, there, there are many, um, but one of them would be like, uh, suppose there's a riot, there's going to be a riot in a town over some crime, and you could prevent the riot by executing an innocent person. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the innocent person is ex executed, everybody will calm down, and there won't be the riot, and let's suppose many, many people will be killed in the riot. Okay. So somebody could reason this way. You know, we've got two options. Uh, do nothing, and we'll have the riot, and dozens, hundreds, whatever amount of people will be killed. Right. Or we can kill this innocent person, and we just got one innocent person dead. Right. Um, so what's, what's, what's the least bad option? One dead innocent person or many. Right. So people argue if utilitarianism is true, you should uh, do what will produce the, the best overall consequence and claim in this situation the best overall consequence is preventing the riot by killing the innocent person. But then people go on and say, but it would be wrong to kill the innocent person. So since utilitarianism says it's okay to do it, Utilitarianism is not true. Okay. So another sort of example, the same kind of theme, is uh, you go into the hospital for routine checkup. Uh, meanwhile, there's five people in the rooms next to you, all in need of organs. And if they don't get the organs, they're going to die. And the doctors notice that uh, you got some pretty good organs. Yeah, you're you're you know you've got the right blood type and stuff like that. All right. And. Uh, they are pretty confident that they could <laughs> kill you, take your organs, and save the five people. Right. So, and you can you can change the example a little bit. You know, you're a loner. Nobody knows you. Right. Nobody will miss you. You can make it worse. Everybody hates you. They'll be glad if you kind of disappear. Right. You could make the five people celebrities. You know, they've got millions, billions of Facebook fans. Yeah. And if they die, you know, there'll be this rash of suicides, right. and I can't live yeah. without whoever in this world anymore. Yeah. So, basically you can tweak with the example to again argue that, well, if you should do what's the best overall, you know, the doctor should right. kill you and take your organs. Right. So, and utilitarianism says you should do what's the best overall, so... So he's approaching this from that Oh, position. right, right, right. Now, these arguments, of course, are controversial, and part of the reason they're controversial is a reason uh, is comes back to uh, something said about the torture, which is that you know you don't really know what will happen if we kill an innocent person or kill the person in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like that's going to be the best overall consequences, or it might seem that way. 
but it might not. Right. I mean, because after all, with the um, you know the riot situation, these people are rioting about some crime that happened. Some innocent person gets killed. You know, maybe the criminals will be out there. You know, it's a rapist or a murderer right. or something like right. that. And then he or she will keep raping and murdering or whatever. And then people are going to wonder, hey, you know, what what happened? Right. Uh, why is these crimes continuing? Didn't they kill that guy? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Hmm, maybe there was a cover-up. Maybe, you know, and then it'll be even worse. Right. And with the hospital example, people sort of sometimes suggest that, um, you know, if people find out, of course, the, the plan is to kill the person in secret so nobody right. finds out. But if people find out, then there's going to be panic and nobody's going to want to go to the hospital anymore because they're going to be afraid that, you know, if I go in for a, for a, for a routine checkup, I'm going to get killed. Right. Um, and, of course, people who really need to go to the hospital aren't going to go to the hospital. So about that, people sometimes question the claim that killing these innocent people will indeed produce the best consequences. Okay. But, so to go back to Singer, um, yeah, so it sounds like there, okay. Singer's saying, well, you know, do whatever so, produce the best consequences, and if killing the primates or whatever does it, then fine. Okay. Now, Singer, after he said that, kind of backpedaled, and he said, I have this, don't forget, I have this other uh, fundamental principle, which is um, called the principle of equality. Mm -hmm. And the principle of equality says that each individual's interests should be treated equally to anybody else's interests. Okay. So there are some places where he says that if you were prepared or willing or wanted to experiment on those um, primates to try to save um, whoever, right. um, to be what's called non-speciesist, right. you should be prepared to experiment on uh, human. human beings who have the same um, mental comparable mental level to those primates. And I don't know what the primates were, but, you okay. know, we know that many primates have pretty sophisticated mental lives. Right. And we know that uh, many human beings don't. Right. So Singer would basically say, if you're going to experiment on the primates, then you should be willing to experiment on babies or mentally okay. challenged babies okay. or uh, Alzheimer's patients or so on and so forth. And... Uh, if you if if you're not willing, right? Um, well, the point is that he's hoping, expecting that people are going to say, "Oh, well, but it would be wrong to experiment on those human beings, even though they're less intelligent, less right. aware, right. less rational than those primates." And so Singer's going to hope that so you should you hope that you'll conclude that well, so experimenting on either okay. would be wrong. Okay. okay. Okay, so it's, he's, he's got a complicated position because of yeah, his stance. Yeah, it's kind of a double-barreled yeah. approach. Okay. And at times, those approaches can be kind of inconsistent. Okay. Um, you know, may, maybe according to utilitarianism, it would be okay to do that. Right. But also, according to utilitarianism, maybe it would be okay to kill you when you go into the hospital. <laughs> That's more if we need your position. <laughs> right. Let me, uh, I've got two other questions that related to this. One is moving a little off topic, but mm -hmm. does your position on this, on the research being morally wrong, does it extend to using animals for food or, or, and or clothing? Uh, it does. Okay. And so did, w would that position entail um, people becoming vegetarians and, mm -hmm. and using non um, Non, not leather and non-animal skins for... Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And you extend the same sort of moral idea there. If we're mm -hmm. not willing to do it to ourselves, why would we be willing to do it to animals? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's similar. Okay. Um, um, but, right, yeah, uh, the way animals 
are raised and killed to be eaten. Right. That's also very, very, very bad for them. Right. Yeah. Bad for animals. <laughs> um, and, uh, I mean, in many cases, it's often uh, bad for us. Yeah. Uh, uh, we are not exactly the most healthy society. Right. And many people argue that part of the reason could be due to uh, eating um, quite a bit animal. of animal products. Right. So, uh, okay. Um, and this is the one that gets a little bit away with this, but I'm curious, because of this research, how you feel about this. The, oh, oh I, right. maybe, maybe I can mention that um, one reaction, uh, this will go back to your initial uh, comment about people being thoughtful or not thoughtful. Right. Um, maybe this is a case of people being thoughtful, because I've encountered some people who have thought that, well, huh, if it's wrong to experiment on animals and do scientific research on them because it's harmful for them right. and we're treating them in ways that we would not think it's acceptable to treat any human being right. in those sorts of ways, they think, hmm, well, if that were right, then it would seem to also be wrong <laughs> to raise them to eat them. Okay. Uh, hopefully, and since, you know, there are people who don't eat animals and right. are fine as far as we can tell and uh, you can do a little research and find out that there's um, all sorts of health benefits to right. eating less or no animals and more vegetables and things like right. that. So uh, people think, well, hmm, I see where you're going with this and this doesn't seem to end just with animal experimentation. Right. So they and, need a link. Yeah. 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 And, uh, that um, could bring them back to themselves. Because, I mean, most people don't experiment animals. Right. Um, but most people do eat right. animals. Right. So when you're thinking about animal experimentation, you're usually thinking about what other people are doing. Right. Okay. Uh, and again, it's easier to think about what other people to do than yourself. Yeah. But the idea is, well, you know, if I'm going to uh, think that they should change... Uh, can see that those reasons might apply to me okay. as well. And of course some people will uh, accept that challenge Yeah. Um, and other people will not. Yeah. So, okay. And I mean even the challenge might be, hmm, I need to think more about this yeah. instead of just, uh, you know, I don't want to yeah. feel a little uncomfortable here. <laughs> The, the question, the final question regarding all this that uh, is a little bit off topic. Um, the, I don't know if you've seen the exhibit, uh, Bodies, the Bodies exhibit. And it's, oh, I've it's, heard about it. Right. It's mm -hmm. based here in Atlanta. The company that does it is based here in Atlanta. What they've mm -hmm. done using a, a chemical process is they've used actual cadavers and stripped them of their skin mm -hmm. and then put them in different positions so you can see what the muscles look like when they're doing different things. Mm -hmm. And they, it was revealed that they were using um, cadavers from China and right. they had to make a disclaimer that they in fact did not know. Uh, let me go ahead and read what they finally were forced to uh, write as a declaimer here. Uh, but attorneys, attorneys general in Missouri and New York forced the Atlanta-based premier uh, exhibitions to post disclaimers, saying the exact source of the bodies preserved through the process is unknown. The disclaimer says uh, there is no written documentation that any of the persons consented to this or exhibition of their bodies. We cannot independently verify that they did not belong to persons executed while incarcerated with Chinese in Chinese prisons. Right. And this this idea of using someone, human, non-human, an animal, mm -hmm. for some profit for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about this? <laughs> now, yeah, I know I I'm getting you right off the cuff here. So. 